Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to be sitting here filming today. I'm just, I've had a good morning, I'm in a good mood. I actually started my day with a bath, which I used to do a lot, especially in COVID. And now that I have a child, I don't get to ever do that, unless it's for work. And I wanted to film, and I did, a real slash TikTok slash now I'll upload on YouTube shorts because a lot of you expressed interest of the lush Super Mario Brothers question box bath bomb. I am excited to edit that footage later and it was incredible. It's basically a, it's an $18 bath bomb. It's ridiculous I spent that much money, but I had a good time. But it's a two-in-one bath bomb because you let the whole thing dissolve and inside you get a soap, which I'm not a huge fan of the Lush soaps. I love them. I love the way they smell. They just irritate my skin. But you can get one of six soaps and all the bombs smell different. So me and my sister went together. We picked ones that smelled different to try and get like different things. You'll have to watch the reel or short or whatever to see what I got. But it was super fun and it was a nice way to start the morning. I watched Zoe vlog, took my time getting ready. My son is now napping. It's a good day. Also, if you live anywhere else in the world, you'll laugh at me, but like, we've had a lot of rain lately and I love it. I actually really like the rainy days, especially in this house, like it's so cozy. We have so many windows and with the baby, like it's just cozy and nice. Um, but the sun has been out for like five days straight, which like it normally is. Bradley and I, over this last weekend, I had such a nice weekend. I've actually been, I'm apparently we're chatting, sorry. I've actually been a little bit MIA this weekend on Instagram and such, but I was just having like a nice ass time. Like we spent time in the yard, preparing the garden beds, doing a bunch of different things. We went to Lowe's, picked up some stuff, planted some stuff. I was planning on vlogging it, but I just was so like in the moment having a nice time. And I, I felt so like recharged at the end of that weekend. And I told her like, maybe there really is something to the sun making you happy. Because <laughs> after a while, like not having it, I really like just felt enriched. And I don't know. The point is I'm in a good mood. I'm excited to be filming because I have some favorites to share with you. Between the declutter and the beauty haul I did, I've found some new or reoccurring makeup favorites. So I do have a handful to share with you. I've got some baby stuff that I'll save for the end in case you're not into that. Some home decor, some snacks. I even have a product I didn't like, but we're gonna start with nail polish first as usual. So I am hashtag blessed enough to be on OPI's PR list, which like I still will never get over. <laughs> they sent it over Christmas. They sent it early, um, but it is now like their spring and summer collection. It's called Me, Myself, and OPI. It's influencer themed, so like all of the names are like tech related or influencer related, so I love it. I tried the pink. It, I mentioned it in another favorites video. I loved that one. There's still so many I'm so excited to try. I used to be so on top of the new nail polish and like trying a new one every week because I would get my nails done once a week, but it just doesn't happen these days. So I'm only on my second from the collection, but for St. Patrick's Day, I of course wanted to try a green. I went with the new green from the new collection. It's called Clear Your Cash. It's supposed to be like, I've always thought the word was cache. Maybe it's not. <laughs> C-A-C-H-E. I don't even know what that means, honestly. But I went into it kind of expecting maybe to hate it because I really do sometimes like greens, I either full on obsessed love them or I hate them. Turns out we're full on obsessed, but I was prepared. I was like, you know what? I may hate this, but we're gonna commit because it's St. Patrick's Day. Milo loves my nails. Like he loves when I have a fun color and I just wanna be that mom that has like the fun themed nails. So I was like, you know what? We're committing to a green for St. Patrick's Day. Might as well try the new one. I am obsessed. It's such a nice formula. I got it done a while ago, but something I do <laughs> now when it's chipped and kind of gross, I will cut my nails, file them a little bit and then paint over it. So it doesn't look great up close, but it's just been working as far as like making content. My nails are crusty and gross. Like if you look up close, it's nasty. So don't, but it works for this. Like you can't tell, <laughs> but the formula is so nice. And the color is just like the right amount. It's kind of like a pukey green kind of, but it has more of a mint in there. It just has enough mint in it to be flattering. I wouldn't call this a mint green, maybe more like a seafoam green. I don't really know. All I know is that I love it. I have one shelf in my nail polish collection that is dedicated to green. And when I did my latest declutter, which I can link up in the corner, it was a massive project. Um, I got rid of a lot of greens because I rarely wear them and I didn't want to like take up too much space with greens, but now I don't have room for a new green and something's gonna have to go because I love this. <laughs> okay, now getting in to makeup. I do kind of have a lot, so I'm not going to, I'll try not to ramble on for too long. And I could have had even more, but these are the things that I'm like loving so much. I wanted to tell you about it right now. 
Uh, the other things that I'm enjoying, I want to keep trying a little bit and I'll update you in next month's favorites. But first up is a recurring favorite. Not a recurring, but you know what I mean. I've used this before, but I repurchased it. I did a beauty haul. I will link that up in the corner. Um, I just had like a lot of Ulta money after Christmas <laughs> and I missed having this. I wear slash wore my Wet n Wild foundation pretty much every day. I do have a few more like BB cream tint type situations, but they're a little bit darker because I bought them in the summer. So they're not really matching my skin right now. And I just wanted something a little more lightweight for day to day. Not that the Wet n Wild one is heavy. You really can't feel it, but I just wanted to repurchase this and I've been loving it. And I'm trying not to get excited, but ever since I started using this instead of the Wet n Wild one, my nose has been clearing up. But that could also just be like where I am in my cycle, my period just ended like, that could be that. So again, I'm trying not to get too excited. <laughs> I was gonna stop using my creams. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have perioral dermatitis pretty bad under my nose. I went to the dermatologist diagnosed with it like maybe two months ago at this point. Maybe that's too long. I don't know, but I've been using the creams. She told me it's stubborn. She said, if the creams don't work, here's an anti, I think it's an antibiotic. It's some sort of medicine, which is not a big deal. But she was, she said, the only thing is it might upset your stomach and I'm a vomit phobe and like that. It's just a whole thing. <laughs> so I just really want this to go away. Um, so I'm giving it a little bit more time with the creams and maybe this is like actually gonna make a change. Um, but if not, I will go on the medication. But, and that's what I'm talking about. But like I said, I'm trying not to get too excited because it's only been about a week, but I'll take, I'll take a week of clearer blistery skin. It's super fun. It's a mixture of eczema, rosacea, and acne. It's great. <laughs> it's great to be a woman. But this is just the best. I'm in the shade, I didn't say what it is. It's the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. I'm in the shade 2.5. It's just the best. I know Nude Sticks uses like skincare quality ingredients. So it's like probably better for my skin, but I just love the Nude Sticks formula. I find it so blendable, so easy to just put on. I love the packaging. It's a squeezy tube, but it's also a pump, which is fantastic. If you haven't tried this yet and you're into like a lighter coverage, it's called a foundation, but I, I feel like it feels like a BB cream type situation. Give this a try and it's buildable. With my perioral dermatitis, I've found that when it's really bad, um, so basically what it is, it's like clear blisters that pop and then spread to make more blisters, but then the old blisters get really crusty and gross. So if I put a bunch of makeup on it, it may look okay at first, but then like I went to Disneyland the other day and I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my God. And all the concealer had like clumped to the dry spots and it looked even more crazy. I was like, I'd be better off just not wearing makeup. So I've stopped putting the concealer on top and I will just like lightly put a little, I did wear concealer today cause I'm filming. But day to day if I'm wearing this, I just lightly covered a little bit. I don't worry about it too much if it's showing through cause like it is what it is, but it is buildable. I will say that. And then in my makeup declutter, which I got rid of more than half my makeup. I can link that up in the corner. It felt so good. I'm still loving just my pared down collection. And when I go into the drawers, like it just is not as overwhelming. In that video though, I said that I didn't care for this powder and I was wrong. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I have the shade One Fair. Of course I was wrong. Everybody loves this powder. I've been using this very like minimally and strategically because I don't like a lot of powder, but that Nude Sticks, um, foundation is a little more on the creamy side so I do like to set my under eyes and then if I want to set like my mustache can get pretty sweaty <laughs> um, I just I take like a very small brush and I set under my eyes a little bit on my chin just like very strategic places and I've really been enjoying this powder I've already hit pan on it so I just pulled it out so I was like I'll just use this up it just doesn't like I don't know it doesn't look like you have layers of powder under your eyes it just looks really nice so it's expensive, but like people talk about this for a reason. It's a really good powder, especially for under your eyes. Okay, now for the stars of the show, I have two new favorite bronzers. First one, my babe Jessica Braun mentions, mentioned this in so many videos and I like knew about it. And then I watched, I watched somebody where she applied it and I was like, holy crap, I need that. And so I added it to cart. I purchased it from that beauty haul. It looks kind of gross up close because of like the brush strokes in it. But holy crap, you guys, this, she says it's her favorite cream bronzer. She's not wrong. It is such a nice bronzer. It smells incredible. I have the, oh my God, it smells like I'm in Hawaii. I have the lightest shade, which is Laguna 01. It's a bronzing cream. It reminds me a lot of the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, you know, the cream bronzer, whatever. But I find that this like stays in place better. It just blends like a dream, like holy crap. And especially with something like bronzer can be intimidating and then you add it as a cream bronzer and you're like, oh my God, but no, this is so nice on the skin. It just melts in there. 
stays in place. I love the color on my skin. Like I said, I have the lightest shade. I think they have five different shades. So good, loving it. But I am also loving this Physicians Formula Butter Glow Concealer as a bronzer. It's what I'm wearing today. So I, in that beauty haul, mentioned a lot of Physicians Formula stuff a week later an email from Physicians Formula asking to put me on their PR list. Like, yes, please. I was ec ec ecstatic, can't even speak. I was in the car and I like told Bradley as if he cares or knows what I'm talking about. I was, it was very exciting. So of course I was like, yes, please put me on your PR list. They sent me like the mailer for the new collection, which included more than just the butter stuff. It had like a diamond setting spray and some lip stuff that I'm gonna try out. Um, but they sent me like the full range of the concealers, which is actually good because the concealer I bought for myself is way too light. So that works out. But then I was like, oh, let me try this shade as a bronzer on me. Cause I am very fair, so I can get away with that. This is the shade Tan to Deep. Holy crap, you guys. Like, I love it as a bronzer. It blends out so nicely, stays put all day. I had, I only had the idea to do this because I saw somebody do it, a different concealer, just like, it's a great idea because obviously concealers have a good formula for the face. You just gotta find the right shade. And I've also seen somebody do it with the e.l.f. Halo Glow in a deeper shade and it was so pretty. So that's why I had the idea and I was like, let me just try it out. And now I'm obsessed with it. I just, I love the way the color looks. It lasts all day, which like, I feel like my makeup rubs off so easily. Maybe because like I lounge a lot, like I got a toddler, he's like rubbing my face. Um, you know, like, I don't know. This lasts very, very well. Love the color, love the way it blends out, stays in place. I think it's like 11 bucks affordable. So try it if you're close to my shade range or even a little bit deeper because they do have, I think, maybe three shades darker than this, two to three. I haven't really used it as a normal concealer that much because I don't really wear under eye concealer all that often. I should have today for filming, but I didn't. Um, but for a bronzer, I've just chef's kiss. This blush was sent to me from Merit Beauty. It's in Stockholm, it's their flush bomb. I am obsessed with the packaging first off. Like it's just so easy. Let's put on a little more. You just do it and it blends so nice. I love this color. This is like the exact shade I wanna be wearing in the spring and summer, especially when I'm wearing like more bronzy things elsewhere. I love the pop of pink on my cheeks. I love that it remains a little bit dewy, but not like too dewy where it's slipping all over your face. It doesn't last all day, but like if I'm looking to reapply, if I'm going out to dinner or something and I'm looking to reapply, like most of the time I'm gonna reapply blush, but this reapplies like a dream. Like it's just a really nice blendable like stick product. Like I really, really love it. You could probably use it on your lips as well. But um, yeah, love the color. I've been wearing this nonstop. Like I said, the staying power isn't the best, but it's not the worst. Like it's not like, I don't know. I don't look crazy at the end of the day. I just, if I want that flush back, I do have to reapply, but I am loving it. And then lastly, really quick, I just wanted to mention the Naked 3 mini palette from Urban Decay. I almost got rid of this and I'm so glad I didn't. I almost got rid of it because I had had it for like a year and I never touched it. And I was like, okay, let me just pass it on to somebody else. But then I realized I was getting rid of like all my blush type shadows. And so I was like, let me just keep this and see. But I've been using it a ton and I really enjoy the way it looks. So I will use a little bit of bronzer in my crease just to warm it up. And then I will use this like mauve laced up color. I love the public color. The stolen color is nice too. Glassy is nice for like the inner corners. I've got public all over my lids today. It's just like the kind of rosy gold blush tone that I love. Um, but this is a nice little palette. I did see in a Jessica Braun video, some sort of cover girl. I think it was like the dreamy pink clean color eyeshadow palette. My Ulta didn't have it. I'm on the hunt for it. I'll just order it online, but I have to have it. It looks so beautiful and I love blush eyeshadow, um, which that's obviously a much more affordable option to this. I haven't tried that yet, but she enjoys it. But yeah, if I'm in the mood to wear eyeshadow, I've been reaching for this. Let's get into a beauty product that I did not enjoy. This guy, this is the Trader Joe's Cleansing and Conditioning Hair Wash. I shared this in a video and I think I got multiple comments saying like, you're gonna hate it. It like literally leaves your hair greasy. Like you need to wash it again. And who wants to do that? Um, I loved the way it smelled. Oh, it smells really good actually, you guys. Maybe I'll try it again just on my ends as like a conditioner. Um, but I, I knew it was gonna be too true. Like who trusts somebody who uses a two in one for shampoo and conditioner? Like you need both steps. <laughs> so that's what this is, just a fancy two in one, you know, for the lazy person. But for some reason I was like really excited about it. I thought it was gonna work out. I've liked Trader Joe's hair products in the past, but this is not it. My hair was so greasy. Like I would pick it up and it would just looked wet in there. So I had to rewash, so. 
not the best. For some home decor, I did a spring slash Easter home decor haul. I will link that up in the corner. I actually loved the comments on that video because <laughs> you guys are very funny. I like physically dropped two of my Johanna Parker things in that video. <laughs> like I just had butter fingers that day. I didn't break anything, thank goodness, but like all your guys' comments were just cracking me up, so. Check that out if you want to see me drop some valuables. But in that video, I mentioned this little cutie from World Market. I am obsessed with this. So it's just a little mushroom decor piece. They had it in purple, red, and green. You can get them in a three pack on the website. I will link it down below where you can get them individually in store. But I just am obsessed. I love purple, I love polka dots, I love mushrooms. It lives on my shelf and they're affordable. So just had to mention here, love. <laughs> oh my God, I dropped that. It's okay. <laughs> I have to try with all my might not to drop this next thing because I don't think I can get it again. But I finally, I didn't find it. My sister found me the honey bear jar from Target. So it's just basically this giant honey bear and it has this little stick thing. I passed on this the first time I saw it because I, I don't really use honey. Um, but then I realized like, no, I want to put bubble bath in this. Remember the Laura Mercier, they probably still exist, but the Laura Mercier like bath things where you would like it came with a honeycomb stick and you would just like drizzle it in the tub. I'm like, hello, I can make my own. So I was on the hunt for it after that. I couldn't find it, but then my sister called me and she was like, hey, they have it, do you want it? And I was like, yes. What I'd really like to do is go buy the Lush Honey I Wash the Kids shower gel. Cause if you didn't know, you can use Lush shower gels as bubble baths. They work really, really well, but it does have that nice like honey toffee scent that I think would just like be cute with the bear. The problem is like the big bottle that it would take to fill this up is like $40 and it's just like, is it worth that? Maybe. But I'll fill this with some sort of bubble bath and it's gonna look so cute sitting next to my tub. The thing is though, like the color of it would look good. Let me, should I do that? Should I not? Is that dumb? It would last me forever. But yeah, I just am so stoked about the honey bear. So I wanted to mention it. Go keep checking your target because my sister found it like a month after I had initially seen it. So it is out there. Let's talk about some snacks and we'll talk about some baby stuff. Holy mother of God, you guys. So I the, I think it will be the next video that is going up after this. I did, I had to do like a big grocery shop day, like our normal grocery shopping for the week, but we were also out of all of our like Costco staples. So I went to Trader Joe's and Costco in one day, vlogged it, did it like a shop with me and then did a haul at the end. So that'll be up next, stay tuned. So I knew about these. I've heard a lot about them from people I follow, but I was always hesitant to buy them because it's dark chocolate. And I, I don't not like dark chocolate, but I'm not always like the biggest fan of it. But this was a sample item the day I went to Costco and then it was on sale. It was the best, thing that could ever happen to me. These are freaking delicious. I don't even taste like the bitterness of dark chocolate. They're like these, they're exactly what they look like. These like oatmeal hunks, but they have like coconut oil in them. I'm assuming, I don't even know. Yes, there's coconut in there. It just is so good. It tastes in Incredible, they're gluten-free. So Bradley actually went back to Costco that week because <laughs> I went by myself and they had like um, organic compost on sale, like 50 pound bags. I literally could not lift one off of the stack because I said, how many should I get? Because they were literally on sale for $7 and we needed a lot in our garden beds. He's like, take as many as you can lift. And I called him and was like, I can't lift any and everybody's staring at me. So he went back another day and we had already eaten through half this bag. So I was like, buy another bag. They're so, so good. So give them a try. I know you can, I've seen them at like home goods. And I was like nervous about that. Cause like who buys food from home goods or do you, are you still alive? But yeah, if you see these somewhere and I know there's different um, flavors, but this one is freaking good. I was going to eat one right now, but then I can't continue the video. I bought these yesterday. We're already that way through the bag. These are new, Trader Joe's cookies and creme, cookies and cream pretzel slims. Holy crap, Bradley's like a huge cookies and cream type of guy. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, he's going to really love those. And let me tell you, I love them too. So they're like the, um, the flatter pretzels, they're the pretzel slims, like the um, peppermint ones that come out during Christmas, but they just, they're, I have to eat one. I just said I wasn't gonna eat, but it's also lunchtime and I'm hungry, but this is what they look like. They drizzled with chocolate. Mmm, literally so good. I need to go to, I think Trader Joe's again today because I ran out of carrots and I want to make chicken pot pie for dinner. <laughs> and so I might go back to Trader Joe's. Oh, I think I have to go somewhere to get carrots. And if I go to Trader Joe's, I'll be getting more of these. Goddamn. 
stellar oh my god okay and now for some baby favorites so i've mentioned okay so like throughout the month th through videos and through like instagram and wherever i share links to things this is by far the most popular thing i have linked this month so many of you guys have bought them they are the love every and target peg people so they're just they come in a set i think there's seven i only pulled three from a shelf but they're just little peg people that come with little things and you can stick them in so it's like a tiny puzzle for them but eventually they can learn color matching you can practice their colors with them and they're just fantastic so another favorite is milo's little table that i actually i made a christmas list for him and bradley's parents got it for him for christmas it's a little mint green table with two chairs the chairs have like little bear backs i'll put in a picture or show you but for a while the table we had it in the guest room because we wanted to rearrange milo's room which we still want to but we eventually just like made it work in there um and he loves it he loves having like a table we got rid of um the rocking chair that was in there i never use it i always fed him in here it was actually kind of scratching up the wall like it, we just didn't use it so we sold that on facebook marketplace had room for a table and he just has been loving having like a higher up place to play or do his puzzles or do his cars like he just loves it he loves sitting in the little chairs it's so sweet but the quality of the table is really good it wasn't cheap but it wasn't like super expensive i think it's in the 80 dollar range but for what it is i would totally recommend it we are loving it it wipes clean really easily it's lightweight so he can move the chairs easily um so what i've been doing i leave it in the corner but when we want to play i just kind of pull it out into the middle of the room set him up a little play area and he loves it so i will link that down below it's on amazon so when we have that play time especially with all those rainy days like i would just set up like a little something for him to play with and just keep him engaged and he was really loving all of his wooden toys which i have a lot of them like up on shelves which like if you have like his room not tiny but it is a smaller room he has a bunch of toys and some of the cuter toys like just display them it makes it so cute he likes looking at them he points it directly what he wants me to get down and the love every toys are just so cute the love every is like a subscription that we they do send to us and I am so grateful because it's Milo's very favorite toys. But then they also have a line at Target, which they did send this to me as well. But I'm giving you my honest opinion and Milo's honest opinion. He loves them. He points at his peg people every day and you have to get all of them down. You can't just get some of them down. He loves them. So they would be cute in an Easter basket. So I wanted to let you know. And then also I've been doing some baby clothes shopping because we're kind of like, we're in, we're in the in-between right now where he will fit into some of the stuff and he will still fit into some of his old stuff, but some of the pajamas are too small. Like we're in the middle. We're moving up into 2T, which honestly breaks my heart. I went into Old Navy the other day. I go in whenever I'm like around it because their sale section is always lit. Like they, there's always usually like a great find, like a really good pajama set for six bucks. And I'm like, yes. But I went in the other day and my favorite thing used to be is like all the onesies laid out on the table. And like, I'm done with that. And I'm so sad about it. But something that instantly cheered me up is they have these really cute t gender neutral t-shirts. And so I bought Milo a couple and he's worn them a couple of times. I still like onesies i feel like for him they're more comfortable especially when he's sleeping they're not like riding up or anything especially as it's been cold it's just nicer to have him in a onesie um but in the summer i know he will love t-shirts i know he'll still fit in carter's 24 months onesie so we still have a little bit of onesie left in us but from old navy we are moved up into the 2t so here is a navy blue well first off i bought this green polka dot t-shirt which is the greatest thing i've ever seen like look at that so cute so milo i love this and I loved it so much, I picked it up in navy as well. They have so many different prints, and actually, as I'm filming this today, Old Navy is having 40% off everything, and I have a bunch more of these t-shirts in my cart, so I think I'm gonna pull the trigger and do it. I wanna make like a little graphic for my Instagram stories, just sharing some of my picks. But look at these strawberries, and there's matching bike shorts, like, oh my god. And then this one's not online, but I found it in store, but it's just this really cute, like, light pink stripe. They do have it in blue, like, light blue stripe that's in my cart as well. Just really soft. They're, like, the same quality as the ones these just like really easy t-shirts that have fun prints. I always say I love Old Navy. That's my very favorite for baby clothes because they just do such a good job at the net gender neutral stuff. Like I'm sure you look at the strawberries and you think like, oh yeah, that's for a girl, but they don't put any bows or frills or anything on it. So Milo can wear it and he loves it. His favorite colors are pink and orange. So yeah, I'm not afraid to dress him in anything girly. In fact, he's ha always had something cheetah print. I have nothing cheetah print for this next size up. I need to get to work. <laughs> cheetah print is a neutral, okay? But that is it 
you guys for my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this. I will have everything linked down below where you can easily find it. As I just mentioned, I do a lot of sharing on my Instagram stories. It's just like a quicker place to keep up for links if you have questions and all that. So do follow me there. It's at Amy Lynn Butchin. But yeah, I love you guys so much. If you have any questions, let me know. We can do some chatting. Yeah, I have nothing else to say. Oh, I did want to talk about my shirt, but I didn't. So we'll save that for next favorites if I continue to like it, but I will link it down below. <laughs> it's from American Eagle. Who knew? But yeah, I am going to go. Bradley's going to aerate the lawn. My favorite day of the year when he puts on those spiky shoes. <laughs> and then we're going to make turkey burgers and sweet potato fries, which that's a lot to do in this nap. I don't know if we're going to get to all of it, but so anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon in a new video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.